Hey, Joshua, it's Berkeley Green at uh, Channel 10 Call. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Hey, listen, I, I, uh, I'm glad that I think you or somebody uh, sent me a direct message on, on my Twitter about a tweet involving uh, your son, Ian. Yes, I, I did send that. You did that? Okay. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. So we ended up not doing anything with that story. Yet RIT did confirm that Ian is was accepted in school and is an incoming freshman. Um, but part of the reason why it was a difficult story on our end and why my editors didn't you know, initially jump right at it is because, um, I mean, if I could be... You didn't fill up the proper paper. So that that is a huge hurdle for us. It's when when uh, say the injured party made the mistake. That that's a just a really big hurdle for us. Now, on the other hand, when I pitch the story again today, because it's move in day for RIT RIT students. Right. I said, okay, well, let's say we said, here's a 14-year-old who got accepted to RIT, but because because his parents didn't follow you know, the proper paperwork over the past years while they were homeschooling, now he can't get federal aid. So here's an opportunity for the state education department to maybe uh, take another look at this and see what they could do. That would be it. But that, again, I will... Uh, and I, I just am 100% honest with people. That's that's the biggest hurdle that we've got in, in telling the story. Um, I do think it's timely now. I do think it's timely now. But let me ask you just a couple of questions. Sure. Um, did Ian have to? So Ian did not take the SAT or the ACT, as I understand it, because RIT doesn't require that. Um, is that... Do I have correct or is that incorrect? That is correct. Correct. Okay, hold on. Did did he have to take or did he take any sort of assessment test, aptitude test, anything like that that would have that would have accompanied his application to RIT? No, we were we were only told that he would need a letter of uh, recommendation, which he received uh, several because of his accomplishments in the past, and that he would need a, a copy of his homeschool courses. The RIT would need, admissions would need a copy of the cor homeschool courses, especially high school level courses that he took, and his grades in those, in those courses. Okay, what's it? And, and to know when his official uh, graduation date from homeschool was. And after they received those items, then we were, we were informed three days, two or three days later that, that he had in fact been accepted into RIT. Okay. And RIT again, RIT confirmed to me his acceptance. Um, the, have you received any correspondence or response from the state education department? Not within the past two or three months. And everyone seems to be um, uh, tossing uh, the situation to uh, back and forth to, to, uh, to others. And, and right. So the school district, so Webster or Penfield School says, well, you got to talk to state ed. State ed says, no, you got to go through your local superintendent kind of thing. They're, they're hitting the ball back and forth. Uh, basically, essentially, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, now, let's say, for instance, let's say hypothetically, um, and so let me back up for a second. So as a result, what you don't have in terms of getting finan federal financial aid is you don't have a certified high school homeschool diploma or certificate is that correct he has a homeschool diploma uh, transcript and diploma but it is not being apparently according to rit and 
FISA rules would not consider it certified unless someone in the local school district or the, or the state education department simply looks at it and says, yes, these courses and these grades are sufficient for graduating from high school in this district. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. that seems to be a, a no-brainer to me, even yeah. retroactively. You know, you, if, and again, there, there's issues regarding my lack of trust regard, uh, with, with certain uh, with school, local school districts. Uh, which goes back a long time, but but for anyone to uh, profess to be at all interested in interested in the best interests of children, to to refuse to even look at the transcript and say, okay, regardless of what the parent or parents you know may have done or may not have done, you know this this uh, this students. Um, uh, the courses that were taken and the and the grades in those courses are are certainly. Um, sufficient for graduating and and uh, and I, I have no doubt that if they wanted to they could retroactively uh, just conf certify the, the courses and and his grades and let me just conclude by saying Ian has already taken his first two RIT courses online during the summer semester and his grades for all of the assignments in each of those courses, a sociology course and a music course, were basically identical to his grades on his homeschool high, high school transcript. So, um, so he, he's already taken his first two courses, and and it seems like he's he's being uh, uh, he's being. Uh, Restricted, uh, which can have a chilling effect, especially on on the minority male, you know, to to strive for um, for, for excellence, and then to uh, to have people stand in this path with with stop signs and and then slow down signs and say and detour signs to prevent him from from doing what he's been doing his whole life, which is learning at a very high level and a very rapid pace. Where is Ian today? Is he, is he at home? He's right here sitting next to me. Okay. All righty.